Hey, hi guys, this is Gail here from internetbusinessfornewbies.com and uh, I just want to show you an update on this amazing program that I've been talking about now for quite a long time and uh, Easy Niche Find is the name and I want to show you about the new enhancements that they've done to this amazing program. So I'm just going to show you some things that you can do with it and uh, those of you who have been uh, my students will know that I talk about this program all the time. Now you need to get the latest update so you need to go to easynichefinder.com and uh, if you already own the program you will see when you go into it it'll come up and tell you a little red button and it'll tell you that you need to update so you do need to go and do that because it's amazing and uh, so let's just go through a few things when you get onto the home page you will be looking at a page that's just like this and uh, there's a few things that you might want to click on now firstly here I've got a little word that says Google which is great now if you um, see a flag there you'll notice that uh, it could be any kind of flag like I had Garner up there for ages and I couldn't work out how to change it so um, up here you'll see click here to show search options so first thing you might want to change and if you go in here and um, you might want to select the uh, one that says default Google server but the good news is that if you live in a particular country and you want to sell to a, something to a particular country or even a state maybe or a country you can pick it up in here and um, and just just advertise or just find out what the searches are in that particular place so very cool um, and so just keep that in mind that's where you find it up here and then you've got to, you can click on all these different things here if you want as well now that's the first thing those of you who have been using this program a while will know that we have in here the OCI which I absolutely love and uh, but it kept timing out so you need to come down here to the OCI on the OCI timeout and you need to click here and you need to spread it right out to 180 I think it's 180 seconds or whatever it is yes just scroll along you'll see here you can just scroll that little thing along so scroll it along right till the end and then you'll find that it won't time out on you so good thing to just keep that in mind as well so that's probably about all you need to do on the front page just brilliant guys wait till you I show you what's happening on the inside now Right now, I've just put a word up the top here, a um, little keyword here, um, TMJ, and I've, uh, so this is, hit the search button, and this little box has come up, and so I need to click on the continue button again to get that to pop up for me, and then um, what we can do after that is we can start doing some serious searching just to see what we've got out there with the word, of, with a, just the one word of TMJ. So we'll just wait for it to find the results and I'll be back in a mo. All right, so now we're in here. You'll see that I've got the word TMJ up there and there's just a whole pile of things in here. And I have other videos that look at different things that, uh, that haven't changed in here. But uh, I'm going to show you some amazing changes here. Firstly, you can check to see if your domain name is available. So the key, of course, is to buy a domain name that is keyword rich. And so um, what you would do is you'd, you'd come down and find something that has good searches um, and low competition. That's what we're looking for. And you also see there's got a graph here so it can show you when things are up and when things are down. So it's very, very cool. You've got local search here and then you've got the global search as well. As I say, you've got the graph here. You've got the exact phrase count, um, the cost for the ad if you're going to do advertising. OCI online customer intent that is the likelihood of a person say putting about TMJ it's the likelihood of them purchasing um, when they put that keyword phrase in and SOC strength of competition so what I'm going to do is what you can do is uh, click on here and get everything in, in order maybe uh, from the top to the bottom so the most searched will be at the top and so it'll go down that way. So 135,000 on dental or TMJ has got 110,000. Uh, global search is 90,000. But what we're looking for is get the exact phrase count that is how many web pages are actually in there comp competing for that keyword phrase. And uh, so what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to go away and click on a few of these and then explain to you in a moment just, just because of time 
um, what they all mean. So I'll be back in a moment. Alrighty, now I've been away and um, done a little bit of research and a little bit of searching here. Now what we're actually looking for is we're looking for little green buttons at the end here. And we're looking, see the exact phrase count? This is kind of, this is, as I said, this is pages, people, um, web pages that have that exact phrase in their web page somewhere. So you can see that this one, Dental, obviously, I mean, it's it's got a lot of uh, competition and a big red button, and so we wouldn't be looking at that one. Now we come down here to this one here, TMJ Syndrome. Now you'll see here, what we've got here is two red X's and one green one. Now what that's telling you is that the um, TM, what is it called? TMJSyndrome.com is not available, and neither is TMJ uh, do, the .org, but the .net is available. So you could get TMJSyndrome. Um, what is it? .org is it? Available. Um, .net, sorry, that's available. So this is a very handy tool, and all you need to do is just click on them like that, and they will come up and tell you what is available and that's a very cool feature I really like that feature so that's pretty cool and uh, over here you'll see that the OCI has uh, happened that's online customer intent um, and you'll see that treatments for TMJ all the web addresses that really are gone are gone 1600 people searching a month but it hasn't really come down much it's peaked a little bit 1 million pages I mean the competition's huge and only 13% of the people who type that in are going to buy. So that's pretty low. However, we come down here, TMJ Pain Relief. This is a very good one. You know why it's hardly got any competition in the pages. So anything under 10 or even 30,000, somewhere between 10 and 30 is probably just fine. And it's got the little green button here. Brilliant. And 58% of the people who type this in are likely to purchase. And that's what that means. So that's a pretty cool feature. And I'm going to show you another cool feature or two on another video. But in the in the meantime, <clears throat> in the meantime, that's probably enough right up. It is a brilliant program. It's not too complicated. Some of the other ones out there are very complicated, very sophisticated. This is simple. And you will be able to see by little pretty buttons <laughs> very quickly what you should go for. So the OCI should be as high as possible. The SOC as low as possible, and the exact phrase count should be somewhere between 10 and 30,000. You possibly could get a little bit, it uh, could be okay a wee bit above it, but this one at 363 or 301, just too high. This is how many people are searching a month. You would really like it up around about 1600 or somewhere around there, but hey, it's okay, just get the sites out there. And uh, 720 people, if you've got a product, let me see for this one here, for instance, um, TNJ Pain Relief, 880 people a month searching. 58% of those people are going to purchase if you have a product around about, uh, that you're going to make $25 off. That's not too bad if you can get some of that money. So that's it for now, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. This is a great program, Easy Niche Finder. Have a great day. I'll catch you on the next video where I'll show you some more tips and tricks on this fabulous program.